Hey guys, today we are learning to make this in Krita. First, create a new file, filling a layer with this pale green color. In another layer on top, draw a large rectangle and fill in the shape as seen. So Krita does this thing where there will still be spaces left, so just use the basic one brush and color in the edges. Now create a new layer on the top, this will be for the first push, then group it to the rectangle layer below. We are going to turn on clipping mask on the new layer, which is the alpha sign just after the lock by the right. You can create a new layer on top or if you had trouble recreating the bush just like me, duplicate the first layer and adjust it to your desired shape. Now create a new layer for another bush. I'm using a different shade of green here and I'm just repeating this process, drawing the bushes on separate layers with the clipping mask turned on. I have 6 layers here that make up the bushes but you can make them more if you prefer. Next we are going to go under all the bush layers just before the large green rectangle we drew and we are going to add a new layer. Using a light brown color draw a rectangle and use the line tool to make it up into the roof of a house. Now create a new layer in front of this house for the window and chimney. For the window, draw a rectangle on one layer and a circle above on another layer and just adjust it to give it that arc you want. Clean up the excess and merge both layers together when you're done, then draw the lines in between. Now create a new layer but move it below the window layer and color in this rich brown. Once you're done with this, we are going to go back to the window layer and using the rectangle tool we'll be making the chimney. If you want to resize a part of your work and you don't want to touch the rest, then you should use the freehand selection tool. Just select the object and click on the transform tool. And when you're done, go to select at the top of your creator dashboard and click the select. For the smoke from the chimney, make a layer in front of the window layer and draw in this wavy shape with an ashy color. Create a new layer at the top and repeat the process, making the color lighter every time. Now you can go back and clean up the excesses or fill in some spaces on appropriate layers. Remember to turn on the clipping mask. Now for the paper cut effect. We're going to start with the last bush I drew and we're going to duplicate it. Place the duplicate below and fill in the bush with the color black. Next we'll go up to the dashboard to filter and click blow. Then we're going to click on Gaussian blow. Adjust it to anywhere from 90 to 130 and then click OK. And that's it. We're going to repeat this step for all the separate layers except for the brown interior of the house. If the effect is not as intense as you'd like, then adjust the layer further using the transform tool. For the window and chimney layer, since everything is not connected, instead of just filling in with black, I'm going to set it on alpha lock, which is the checkered box after the clipping mask, and I'm going to color everything black using the basic one brush. Then use Gaussian blow for the paper cut effect. You should turn off the alpha lock before using the Gaussian blow, if not this effect will not work. Now I'm just going to add an extra layer of smoke in front of the second one. Just making little adjustments and giving everything a smoother look.
for the background, create a new layer and place it just before the pale green, then fill it in with white. Now with the eraser circle, just make weird wavy shapes and holes here and there. Duplicate this white layer, fill in the duplicate below with black, then apply Gaussian Blow. Now we want to make it look like the bushes and house are inside this weird background. So we are going to go back to the group and create a new layer on top of everything. Then with the airbrush soft and the color black, we will just shade the corners of this rectangle. Again, remember to turn on clipping mask. When you're done shading, apply Gaussian Blow on this layer too and you can make the insides a little bit darker. Back to the background. Create a new layer on top of the pale green one and color in these small circles. I'm using the color green. So I had a hard time deciding which color to replace the white with. I tried different greens but I finally settled on brown. Next, we're going to create a new layer. This should be below the window and chimney layer but above the brown house interior. And we're drawing a cute animal. I'm drawing a panda but you can draw any other one you like. Now we are adding extra greenery in the house and this is going to be at the back of the panda layer. I'm going to use two layers for this one. Create a new layer and use the darker green color. Then create another layer and use the lighter green color. This lighter green layer should be above the darker green layer. Apply the paper cut effect to both layers and add in extras if you wish. Next thing is to add these leaf details to the bushes. Create a new layer on top of the whole group and place it below the corner shadow layer. Now with the lighter green color, draw in small leaves on the light green bushes. Duplicate the layer, paint the duplicate below black and use Gaussian Blow. Now we'll create a new layer under this and draw in leaves for the darker green bushes but we'll skip the paper cut effect on this one. So this is what it looks like now and these are some of the other things I've done with this effect. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed this and subscribe to my channel for more art tutorials.